started chopping. Whoa. <laughs> was I late? It's seriously, like, I like dull knives. This does not even cut. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're this pushing is, on. This is an IKEA knife. Yeah, it looks like it's working just fine. Yeah, okay. Just All right. Fine. So, so what we're making today is we're making a slow cooker vegan bulgogi, which is a traditional uh, Korean dish made with beef, sometimes made with pork. Um, but we're going to use jack it means fruit. fire meat. It means fire meat. So we're going to we're going to use um, jackfruit, which which is, just is like really meat. an unknown. Like people don't know a lot about it. When I when I went to the grocery store to look for it. And I asked the people who work there, they're like, we don't know what, what, what that is. What is They're like, it? what is that? They're like, is it in the produce section? Is it in the canned but fruit? But seriously, what is it? So uh, that's a good question. <laughs> it looks this like this. This is your recipe. And it you looks made like this a million times. It's grown in, I think it's like Southeast Asia. It's, 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 they're from Thailand. So they're from Thailand. Um, and it's, it, the consistency is interesting. It's kind of like... Hearts of palm sort of consistency. I have never liked it in restaurants, but I, I, you said you love this dish, so I'm really excited. Yeah, to try I made it. it, and my son went crazy for it. And it's really simple. It's a, it, this recipe is a slow cooker recipe. We're gonna do it in in Where a did pressure it come cooker. From? It came from a blog. I found it on Pinterest. It came from a blog, Fit Men Cook blog, and it's this is a there's lots of contributors to that blog. Um, so this is typically a slow cooker recipe, but I'm going to use a pressure cooker because that's what we've got. Um, and all, basically, go all, basically all we do is throw everything in there and turn it on, which is my kind of recipe. Now, I'm curious because you didn't know the difference between dicing, mincing, and chopping. And um, I do to know oh, the difference. Okay. So, what, so is this going to be small That's going to be the two third, two third cup red onions no, diced. I know, but I had to cut it first. Oh, yes, yeah. that's small enough. For this recipe, you're going to need grapeseed or olive oil, three cans of 14 ounce each jackfruit drained, one and a half tablespoons garlic minced, two third cup red onion diced, half to a full Asian pear grated, five tablespoons low sodium tamari sauce, one tablespoon mirin, two tablespoons sesame oil, a third cup of a sweetener, you can use honey or maple syrup, one and a half tablespoons sesame seeds, one tablespoon arrowroot. All right, so now you know what you need. We're gonna get started. So we're gonna spray, it says grapeseed or olive oil, so we're gonna go olive oil. You're gonna spray the inside of your crock pot or pressure and cooker. And grapeseed is, grape is the same as canola, you know. So you have a, a liberal spray you know there. No, I did not know that. I think that's true. And I'm then making it's, that up, but I think three, it's three, so it's three 14 ounce cans of jackfruit. Now, now Trader Joe's carries these cans in 20 ounces. So we're gonna do two 20 ounce cans. So it'll be slightly under what they asked for, but it's gonna be good enough. And I want you to see this when I open it up, because you, you might not even know what jackfruit Fruit is, or I've never seen it before, so I want to show you what it looks like. I've had it at a couple places, like they have jackfruit tacos, which you said that it's so stupid that they have jackfruit tacos because it's not a Mexican dish. No, 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 just uh, no. I just was saying. So the recipe that this came from, they were they're acting like this recipe is Mexican, and so they, they're telling you to, to like use tortillas and top it with guacamole, and, and, and like, and it, but it uses all Asian. Asian stuff, so it's yeah. a, it doesn't make any sense. You can, you can, it does. You can make this taste so like whatever you want. So check this out. That. Check that out. So that's what it looks like, and it's it's kind of like hearts of palm. And what's going to happen is as it cooks, it you're going to we're going to pull it apart towards the end, and it's going to shred up. It's gonna, you can people make pulled pork. <laughs> Derek's finger. People make pulled like pulled pork dishes out of it. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Huh. Okay? It looks like meat. That's so yeah, weird. Yeah. It looks like tuna, like a piece of tuna. Yeah, totally. So I'm going to drain these. Don't you wonder how they figure out how to, like, I know. Like, like see, like, if you look at the can. I know, like, you think, like, like how would you figure out? You're like, oh, that... I'm going to eat that. This is what the thing looks like. Like, I'm going to eat that spiky plant. So we're going to put this, dump that in there. And do the other one. And then we got, so then it's, so it's a two-thirds cup red onion. Now, the recipe is set, calls for a half an Asian pear or use a full pear if you like it more sweet. Perry. No, no, Perry. More Perry. So I, the first time I made it, I did the full pear. I went full pear. The second time I made it, I did half, and I preferred it with the full, the full pear. In there. So that's so what we're gonna do. Pear, more perry. More perry. Matthew Perry. We should have him on our show. Yeah. You think he would be on our show? Okay. So we're gonna do the, do the onion there. I'm gonna do the. Where's the grater? Mom. The grater's right here in our magic secret drawer. 
No, the... Oh, our other grater? Oh, this will work. This will work. This is good. Well, I've got the other one, too. This will work. I think that's a better yeah, grater. Yeah, that's better. So I'm going to do this entire um, Asian pear. And at, at the store you got it, they called this an apple pear. So it might be apple pear or Asian pear, whichever. I knew it was a Asian pear because I've had Asian pears before. Those are, that was two dollars and ninety nine cents for that at Trader Joe's. Same at Whole Foods. It was, like, it was almost really. Like, that's why I didn't get it there either. Well, I got it at Trader Joe's. No, I know. Joe's. I was like in the Whole. Oh, so it would they be did cheap. have. Oh, really? Oh, that's why you didn't get it. Oh, I didn't know. That's why yeah. you didn't get it. I thought it would be cheaper. I was like, I thought they didn't lot. have it. Along with the budget cuts on here, cook with Jake and Joy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is good to to be budget conscious. Budget conscious. All right, so that's basically the whole pair. And call it good with that. Okay. And that, then, that's all you're going to get out of that? Yeah, it's fine. It's great. Plenty. Plenty of Asian pear. Plenty of pear. Okay, so then we're going to do Plenty five. Plenty pear. Did you get that? Five, five tablespoons of tamari, which is basically gluten-free soy sauce. So do five of those. And a lot of people don't know that you can get gluten-free soy sauce at most restaurants, at most uh, Asian restaurants. You just have to ask for it. Almost all of them have it. They, don't, they probably wouldn't call it tamari, but they would, they would know what gluten-free soy sauce was. Yeah. Okay, so five tablespoons soy sauce. One tablespoon of mirin. Now, this is a rice cooking wine. It's pretty how pricey. How is it different than regular rice wine, rice vinegar, rice cooking wine? Don't know. Oh, because it's not vinegar. So usually yeah. it's rice vinegar that, it's, that it's, you can get. It's um, water, rice, sea salt, and koji, which I don't know what that is. That's a seaweed. Yeah. So I'm, I'm wondering if you could just use sake. Well, I don't know. Which would be less expensive. Yeah. How much was that So this bottle? was like $13 for this oh bottle. My God. But you can get, there's a cheaper version, but it's filled with all kinds of stuff that I don't like. This is like, so uh -huh. I chose this one and, uh -huh. and I think it's great. So um, if, you know, if, if, because I like this dish, I'm going to make it multiple times. It's hard to commit to something this right. expensive when you don't know if you're going to like it. Right. So you can go for a cheaper version if you want. Um, we just went for this one. Okay, so one tablespoon of mirin. Two tablespoons of sesame oil. We're gonna do that, which I love. It's not open yet, I don't think. I mean, there's a difference between toasted sesame oil and regular sesame oil, and I don't know like which one you use when, do you? I don't know. Um, my Maybe someone Alex who actually would know. went to cooking school and just didn't yeah. an application <laughs> would know that. Alex, um, my husband would probably know. He probably would. Okay, then a third of a cup of raw honey. Now, if you are wanting for being a strict vegan, you wouldn't use honey, but we, that's not how we roll on this show. So we're gonna do a third cup of honey. Uh, honey, you could use maple syrup, you could use agave, you could use date syrup, although uh -huh. you know dates have a specific flavor, so you have to kind yeah. of mess with that. So a third cup. I'm gonna do a little less than a third cup, just because we did the whole Asian pear. Yeah, that would make it too sweet, wouldn't yeah. it? I think this is what I did when I made it originally too. Okay, and then one and a half tablespoons of sesame seeds. And do you want to use black or or um, white? Let's. Let's do both. So I'll do one. I'm really curious what the difference is. Is one toasted and one not? Or is it just a different sesame seed? Or is it a different stage of life? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that either. It's like we could have done All some research. All these questions. Could have done some research before we started this. This show? Okay. All right. So now here's the, here's the piece. Yet. Here's the, yeah, we didn't know you to do that. Here's the piece that we're going to kind of experiment with. So, so this is a slow cooker recipe traditionally, originally, and then at, and you're supposed to cook it for, it's four hours total. When there's 45 minutes left, you wanna put the arrowroot uh, powder in. Now, since we're gonna pressure cook it, you can't open it until it's done. So I think we should just put it in there okay. to start. Okay. What do you think? Does everyone think? Sure, okay. All right, so we're gonna just try it. One tablespoon. I think it's fine. You think? Yeah, you think it's fine? Okay, one tablespoon arrowroot starch mixed with one tablespoon of water, and you mix it together so that's not clumpy. And I asked Jake why she had these in plastic bags instead of the original package. It's so fine. When I opened up the package, the original package, it like went everywhere, and it wasn't a way to reseal it, so I double sealed it because it's so, it's so fine. And that happens with a lot of different powdery things, I noticed, and you could even put it into a jar, right? True, yeah, true. So it, you, the reason you do this is just, I usually like whisk it up. Do you want a whisk? Yeah. Is it whisk in the secret drawer there? Okay. Um, just to get it to not be clumpy before you pour it in there. I mean, where's that teeny tiny one? Oh, 
I used my coffee this morning. Oh God, Derek. Did you put it here? Just... All right, so we're gonna whisk that up so it doesn't, it's like, it's the clumps out of it. And this is a, is this a is thickener, right? Thickener. But it also does some things for you. Yeah, it actually helps with weight management and also stimulates your immune system. Isn't that interesting? Very Ironically, good. that the thickener makes you adjust your weight. I, I know, right? <laughs> okay, so that's in there. Now, there. if you Google any, you can just Google slow cooker to pressure, pressure cooker conversion chart, and it'll come up. It's really simple. So that's what I did. So for four hours in a, in a slow cooker, it's going to be 24 minutes in the pressure cooker. So I'm going to, so I'm going to do this here. And then at the end, so you're at, we have to pull it apart. So we'll do that at the end. Normally yeah. we do that 45 minutes ahead of time. And sure. Do no, I think right. fine. So this is not our machine. So we're going to. Okay. So, um, this is complete. I have released the steam, the steam. As you can tell, the sun has set <laughs> since we were here last. We had a few snafus. <laughs> We sorted it out. So we're going to open this up. I haven't even looked I'm at it nervous. yet. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. OK, so you, can, yep, so you can see how they're still intact. So what we need to do is take this spatula, and okay. on, the, on, the, this, on the other one, I'll do it. On this other one, there's a holder for that. So, you, so you're going to like break it up so that it looks more like the pulled pork situation. And if you made this in a slow cooker, you would do this like b with 45 minutes left to go. Yeah. But that's pretty cool that it just breaks, breaks up, like, up that. like that. And then, it, God, that's so weird how it looks like I know. pork. I don't like pork at all. Oh, you don't? Ever. I, I, I never, yeah, I, I have it. never in my life loved pork. And now we have this big thing in California that they cannot raise it uh, unless they're doing it sustainably, which I think is really, it looks really good. It's super, it's so good. I'm, I was I've never liked jackfruits. I'm very curious about this. Are you looking for a spoon? Yeah. So we're gonna, so I would, so you, you would, so you would serve it over white rice is what we, or rice That's what is what do? we do. Uh -huh. And Jameson loves it. So look at that, it looks like. I gotta try a bite. Okay, it's gonna be hot. Half. Wow. Isn't that good? Mm hmm That's really good. Oh yeah. my god. Isn't that crazy? Um, that's ridiculous. I have never I've I've seen jackfruit on menus before and it like every time it comes out, it's like in chunks. It's like in like mm -hmm. little cubes. Yeah. And it looks horrible to me, but the yeah. shredded way. And then so good. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. There you have it, guys. Jackfruit. Bulgogi. Bul bulgogi. Fire. But they call it fire, fire meat. meat. Yeah. Fire, meat. fire meat. Yeah. We hope that you love this. That was Let's... my nickname in high school. Fire <laughs> meat. <laughs> I thought it was still your nickname. No. Anyway, if you make this recipe, comment in the section below and let us know how it turned out for you. If you've got any twists and turns, post a, post a picture of it. Let us know how you liked it. And subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye. Fire meat.